how to get a free unusual in Team Fortress 2. So the first step we have is we have to go into find a game and create server. And then the map you're looking for is CP Mana Event. Uh, it should be downloaded by default uh, in the CP section. Okay, so once you spawn in, you want to pick a uh, blue team and then pick whatever class you want, it doesn't matter. And we're just going to wait for the players, like it says at the top. Once that timer has finished, uh, we can start. Once you're in setup time, you want to enter the terminal by pressing the key under the escape button on your keyboard. And then put in the command that I have in the description. So Let's just copy and paste that into the console. And then you can fly through the map to the first capture point. And here, you just want to start hitting them. Make sure you use your melee. Do not kill him with your primary or secondary, otherwise you will not get the achievement. If you have the equalizer, it makes this much faster, so use that. Okay, and just like that, when he dies, you will get the Gord and Sleepy Hollow achievement. So then we can leave. Now you'll notice that you have a new inventory item, so if we click on that, you see you get the Horseless Headless Horseman's head, and you get the Unusual Haunted Metal Scrap, which is what we use to make our unusual item. So once you have your Unusual Haunted Metal Scrap, you go to your items, you go crafting, and then if you go special, which is the star, fabricate horseless headless horseman's head taker. And then you see this is the recipe we have. So you need two refined metals, your haunted metal scrap, and a Scotsman skull cutter. Now in terms of getting refined metal, that's very simple. You get item drops every now and then from Team Fortress 2 just from playing the game. And uh, those item drops give you just random stock and other weapons. And with those weapons, you can go back to crafting and smelt the class weapons. So by doing this, you just consume two of the same class weapons. So I have three of these detonators, so we'll do two of those. And then you click craft and it'll give you a scrap metal, like this. So then you need three scrap metal to make one reclaimed metal, like that. And then you need three reclaimed metal to make one refined metal. Like that. So now to make the Horseless Headless Horseman's Head Taker, you need two refined metal, one haunted metal scrap, and a Scotsman's Skull Cutter. So in total, you're going to need 36 weapons to smelt, and then you also need the Scotsman's Skull Cutter. Now the easiest way to get a Scotsman's Skull Cutter is to go to your contractor. Uh, now either of these will work, and just click on any contract. Uh, complete it, get some points, and that should get you some blood money. Now, once you've got 100 blood money, you can go to the Mercenary Park gift shop and buy a decorated war hero war paint civilian grade keyless case. Like that. So then if you go to your backpack and you open the keyless crate, you get a war paint and then you can use the war paint to get a Scotsman skull cutter like this one here and then ta-da you have a Scotsman skull cutter so once you've got all the ingredients, you want to just add them all into the fabricate recipe. If your unusual haunted scrap metal isn't showing up, make sure you tick the little box in the bottom left corner that says disallow items with special qualities, and then it should show up. Then click craft. And there you go. So anyway, that's how you get the unusual horseless headless horseman's head taker. Um, I'll be honest, there's nothing special or unique really about this unusual. Um, it doesn't have any effects like the unusual hats do or the unusual weapons. 
but this was the first unusual weapon in the entire game and it came way before the hats so that's probably why the names are the same but yeah that's how you do it thanks for watching guys